Hmm, what should we do with this piece, Harry? Well, I think you should use it to demonstrate the Viver wood burning kit. What? How are we gonna do that, Harry? We don't even have one. Whoa! How did you do that? Did you forget, Robert? Every beaver gets what they want. Hodgepodge. I like your beaver. I really like your beaver. All right, what do we have here? Wow, it comes with two replaceable tip pins. The plug's a little weird. I prefer an RCA plug. That way other pins and cables could be used. All right, all right, what else is in the bag? There's a total of 23 different wire nibs. Wow. Here's a cheap little knife thing for some reason. We've got some plywood discs for samples. They even sent you a little sponge, Harry, so you're not such a stinky beaver. And some tweezers. People think I stink? Harry, you smell like fish. Uh, isn't that what I'm supposed to smell like? I'm a beaver. Anyways, the cord's about three feet long. That's good. Hey, look, there's two inputs. That way we can both play with our wood at the same time. No, look at the switch in the middle. That means we have to take turn playing with our wood. I mean, I mean wood burning. Well, I'll just pick the standard bent wire thingy here. Now you just loosen these screws. Slip it in. And then screw it back tight. All right, looks like the main power button's on the side here. Then you've got the switch here in the middle to direct which cord gets the power. <laughs> well, hey, hey, look at that. It's burning wood. Yeah, I don't really see any difference with my $200 wood burner. Should I turn it up? Yeah, the hotter the better. Well, it burns pretty well, but I don't think it gets hot enough to actually carve, like some people do. You know what, Harry? This pin, it's cool. It's not even getting hot. The coal wood pins that I have, they tend to get hot after a little bit of use. As a matter of fact, let's do a comparison. Wow, that looks like the Viver one's actually burning it a little quicker. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, right? And it's only $45 right now. Alright, let's try the skew tip.
Looks like it's able to maintain consistent heat while doing those long lines. Yeah, I'm impressed. Now, Harry, you ready for the fun part? We can make our own tips. You just need some of this nichrome wire. 50 feet. That's gonna last forever. It sure is. You just want to make sure you get the 20 gauge size. I've got a link to it in my description below. What you gonna make, huh? 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 I'm just gonna go with the typical basket illusion weave. Basically make a spring by wrapping it around a small shaft. Hey, don't look at me. I don't have a small shaft. Yeah, Harry, I'm just gonna use this little screwdriver. And there you go. Could be a little longer, but it's just my first time. <laughs> that's what she said. Now you just make alternating patterns on the piece by 90 degrees, and you end up with a pattern like this. So Harry, I'm pretty impressed. How about you? Yeah, this beaver tool is perfect for this beaver. Check out the link in the description below if you want to pick one up for the holiday season.